right, well, Tyler Perry fans, here's an update from Deadline. I'll leave a link to the article in the comment section below. Uh, just to know, I'm probably going to butcher a lot of names here, but okay. So, this is an update on Tyler Perry's Netflix film, the World War II movie focused on 6888. Kerry Washington is going to be executive producer as well as star in the film. And right now, the film has entered the production stage. She's joined in the ensemble cast by such screen icons as Sam Watterson, Susan Sarandon, and Oprah Winfrey herself. So it looks like we got a Tyler-Oprah team up after quite a while. I can't remember the last time they really teamed up. And when I mean teamed up, I mean on a project together. You know, like maybe Tyler did something that Oprah starred in or... They did like a special or something. The last team up obviously was the own network itself. But all right. Now, when it comes to other cast members, the one that everybody wants me to talk about, Miss Ebony Obsidian, a.k.a. Karen from Sisters. So here we are with a Tyler Perry show alumni now within a Tyler Perry movie. And this is great stuff. It, it's it's just like, you know, K.J. Smith was in a Medea family funeral. Then, of course, that moved into Sisters. Now you got Sisters with Ebony as Karen. And now she's going to be in this Netflix movie. And based on Tyler Perry's Netflix, uh, how many films has he put out on Netflix? Uh, two, right? Is it two or no, three? Three, sorry, three. Fall from Grace. A Medea Homecoming. Jazz Man's Blues, and all of them did numbers. So, based on this cast itself, uh, Sarah Jeffrey from Charmed, I know her better from the Descendants films. Greg Sulkin from The Throwback, I know him better from Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, Shanice Shante. I mean, I'm looking... Look, I'm bad with names, but looking at the um, photos... The headshots, I'm like, okay, I know a majority of these people from a lot of projects. Uh, let's see. We we even have Elder Mother from Ruthless. This is this is this is a pretty good cast now. Um also Milana Jackson. I know she played um in a jazz man's blues. And the list goes on. I'm just looking at this list. This is a pretty stacked movie. This is a really stacked movie. But overall, uh, the article goes on to talk about, you know, of course, what the film is about. It's about an article by Kevin Hamill, published in World War II History Magazine by Sovereign Media. It tells the story of the only all-black, all-female World War II battalion. These 800 or 855 or 855 women joined the war effort with little knowledge of what exactly they would be doing, but were quickly given the mission of a lifetime soaring through and fixing a three year, year backlog of undelivered mail. All right. So then from there, there's like more descriptions of, you know, the cast and, you know, their resumes, uh, Carrie Washington's, you know, uh, I guess you could say, list of experience in the industry and so on but yeah overall this is a pretty solid cast and i'm i'm really excited to see what this movie brings to the table so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like and subscribe follow me on social media and i'll catch you in the next one